hi guys welcome back to my channel so today guys i'll be showing you how i make this really nice coconut cake it's going to be a very short video i hope the last time i said that i ended up with 20 minutes video so today i'll be showing you how i make this particular coconut cake and guys as you all know that you can make cake using different methods so i'll be using one method today right here i have about 50 grams of butter but i'll be adding this little scoop let's say this is 10 grams of margarine and then i'll be using this cup as the measuring cup so I'll be adding two cups of sugar. Okay, maybe one cup is okay. I hope, or one and a half. <laughs> okay, one and a half cups. Then I'll go ahead to So guys, I'll be using the hand mixer. So I'm going to be measuring out the flour. I'll be using two cups. I'm using this as my measuring cup. And right here, I'll be using this baking powder. I'll be using a tablespoon of this. I'll be using one tablespoon. And right here, I have my baking soda. I'll be using one teaspoon of baking soda. This is totally optional. You might add it if you want, or you can just use the baking powder. So I'll be mixing everything gently. So let's go back to the wet ingredients. So now I'll be adding in some coconut milk into the, right here we have butter and sugar in case you missed out on that part. So now I'm going to be adding in some coconut milk. So right here I have my butter vanilla aroma I'll be using this for the flavor and also I have here citron this is my second flavor so I'll be adding just one of each so here I also have vanilla sugar I'll be adding this One packet of this is about 8 gram, so you can choose what quantity you want to add. So now, yeah, so I'll be using just 3 eggs because I'm making a really small cake. But I'll be adding this one after the other, so it would really mix well. So 
so now i'll be adding in the flour the already mixed um dry ingredients the flour baking powder and the um baking soda yeah so i'll be mixing everything and then i won't put everything at once i'll be putting them in batches and then i'll be using a cup of meal as my liquid to mix everything properly So I'm trying to scoop the sides before I continue and mind you, you don't want to over mix. So this is what the consistency looks like. So this is the pan I'll be using to bake our lovely coconut cake. I already, already greased the pan and then I put some flour on it just not to let the cake stick to the pan. So I'll go ahead and pour in my cake batter. So guys, after this, I'm going to put on my oven and then I'll put in the um, cake butter for now in the fridge and again you don't have to overfill your pan if you notice it's too big the butter or or whatever you can get something else another pan and continue your baking there so I like to call this small pan my taster pan. <laughs> I am going to set this aside as well. And then I will show you guys the end result. By the way, I'll be setting my oven at 180 for 20 minutes then reduce it down to 160 degrees celsius then after which i would show you guys the end result of my cake choose <laughs> 